Alright. So he's just standing there. Barbecue sauce on his titties. That's not barbecue sauce, that's blood. God, Vine was such a good era. Ah, oh, it was so good. Something about restricting it to six seconds or die. Really, like, just, just... Brought out some it, creativity. It yeah, because you really had to fit a lot into six seconds. Two bras chilling in a hot tub five feet apart because they're not gay. <laughs> Now TikTok, you can make that shit like three minutes now. Ugh. Basically, just a YouTube platform. Yeah. Might as well just make a YouTube video. YouTube's doing shorts now too, so might as well. Yeah. Just make a YouTube short. Or an Instagram reel, because everything's got to be TikTok now. Right. <laughs> Mm hmm I mean, it's not too much of a surprise. Look how well it's doing. Yeah. You know, something I'm worried about, Tyler, is that my channel is not... Like... It, it's like people are not uh, paying attention to the notification. They've, like, turned it off. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. So I'm thinking of going through and doing a bit of a purge. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for your help. I don't um, know anything. I don't know anything about, like, fucking administrating a fucking Discord server. I don't know. Thank you for your help, a wise and uh, bountiful manager of mine. <laughs> I'm just a moderator to make sure no one says slurs. Alright, we're gonna start over. Mm hmm. Purging sounds unhealthy. Yeah, but it just Purging doesn't. A failure, people forget this. Sorry. Thomas was alone. Well, Thomas was alone. A weird first thought to have. Sorry, smooth British voice actor, but we have places to be. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. But Thomas needs to list his observations One, for posterity. The whole alone thing. Two. The whole alone thing. Portals. They led somewhere. I'll let it happen. He'd yet to work out where. Three. Falling. <laughs> Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. Hi, he was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Yeah, no, I feel like I need to clean up. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to... What's the word? Jump. Jump. Is there more? It works. There we go. Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. Okay. It's a bit dopey because, like... A big jump. Yeah, but yeah. Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. Come, come. He was pushing him, gently. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Oh no! Thomas oh, no. wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Hey, come on, Thomas, haven't you ever played Mario? It might predominantly up to the right again, in most platformers. But Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. 
It had been just one step ahead. Designed just for him. <gasps> he wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. Too obvious. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated <laughs> Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly like didn't that want it glows. to swim in it. He made another I agree mental with the weird note. kid. I think it's cool that he floats. Water. Not good. To be avoided. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Every nerd kid ever. <laughs> also, found the source of the light. Yeah. Motherfucker. I believe in you. We gotta find our friends again. But we're alone, Tyler. That's right, we are alone. As is the name of the game. How did I Thomas get... was alone. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting ah. smarter. There was the <laughs> mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. Ah. He was evolving. Jump. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Oh, poor Thomas. You don't deserve someone to share it with. Chris took an immediate and deep but Chris to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Him, yeah, right? Fuck Thomas. <laughs> I'm with Chris, Chris here. <laughs> Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually. Yeah. Not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Yeah, fuck Thomas. Oh my god. <laughs> right in my fucking schnoz. <laughs> Are we assuming Thomas has a schnoz? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, this music. This is the music that made me set it down to 10%. Yeah. <laughs> Needs to calm the fuck down. Just like Thomas does. Oh my god. <laughs> Be nice. No. Okay. This was more like it. Wait, why did I get an achievement for doing that level this time, but I didn't the f the, the quote unquote first time? Oh the no, it's for jumping five up. it's for jumping five hundred pounds. I was gonna say it's Steam acknowledging that oh, you didn't really do it last time. Get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Yeah, Seriously. fuck Thomas. <laughs> this made the whole switch pressing Be nice to Thomas. No, fuck him. My boy Thomas. Was this or is he good? by the end who your favorite because quadrilateral is? It did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. They had. <laughs> sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. <laughs> uh, I know I laughed at that before too, but you did. Very. I just think it's so amusing. You're a very simple bean. Where'd that gotten him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. 
He seems so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for Do greatness. Do a little role play, have Thomas just jumping around, Chris. Yeah, it would be fine. Like an excitable puppy. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. <laughs> Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. From the vaulting idiot. <laughs> the next portal would split them up. Oh. If only for a few levels. It is, isn't it? Oh, what? that's right. That's the jump I've got to make. Ugh. I believe in you. Look before you jump, folks. Yeah, fuck Thomas and his hoity-toity better than you attitude. He doesn't have a hoity-toity better than you attitude. Yeah, he does. Look at him. <laughs> this bit right now reminds me makes me think of that one audio where it's like you yo what the fuck is he, he looking at this nothing man he's chance. baby a moment to shine you want to fight baby this was game day <laughs> have you heard that one no where it's like it's like <laughs> this guy's picking a fight with a baby because the baby's <laughs> like looking at him yo why is he looking at me like that I'm like what tyler hey you got a staring problem Yes? What? Make John jump over Thomas. I know, but I wanted you to react to the, the fucking hell, Tyler. Whatever. <laughs> no, it's fine. You this keep will on, happen a lot. You keep on telling me your story about fucking TikTok while I play a video game. That's my purpose here. We, we talk about things while you this play a video game. Would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was... <laughs> Trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? Do they see themselves as people, not the others? John inhaled the air of the, the open space, rectangles. and it smelled of awesome. I don't time know. to flex those muscles. I don't like John. Put his training to use time to show those little dots how he it was done. Real high. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. It might more be that because John is so tall, he's looking the down on them. Expression they're rectangles the from the sides, but they're, you know, they're probably all the same, you know. Yeah, the same, uh, like, width. They're like rectangular prisms or something. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> you could hit the other button. To yes, go the other way. Tyler, I'm aware. <laughs> Ugh. Chris is so slow. He is. But that's just his style. Fuck needing John here. Fuck you and your fucking video game expectations. <laughs> I don't need John. Okay. What, no quippy voice line this time? John was happy to keep helping. <laughs> he felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. What, are you running for office, John? Yeah, that's pretty cringe, John, not gonna lie. What office? Didn't you, like, just come into being, like, a few seconds ago?
Uh huh. <laughs> John was a little full of himself, yeah. <clears throat> um. There we are. Nart. Well, you need Thomas's help to get. Yeah. Don't fucking start saying their names to me like they're real people. I swear to Christ. <laughs> they are. AIs are real people. <laughs> boink, boink. <laughs> Fucking move. <laughs> I just love how they all have different jump sounds. Boink. 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 Yes, I love uh, <laughs> the joke. You can stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. It's the same puzzle, but on a moving thing. Yeah. Or you could say a very gentle escalation of difficulty. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Fucking j Thomas! <laughs> Nearly You're the one who left him there! He should have moved. He can't move unless you move him! That seems like a. He's just being lazy! Angry Orange One was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, there's a thing over there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a thing over there. If I wanted to play the, the game of collectibles. No. Stop. No, that would not be the where to get it from. Hey, can you move? Thanks. Maybe not there even. Boop. I got it. I'm not going for those. Well, yeah, I would think so. You already missed one. How dare you? <laughs> how is John appl uh, How is Thomas applauding? If he doesn't have- he's a rectangle. I assume... It's like Among Us rule. Where like, once they need hands, they appear. I don't know. I'm- I, I would also, uh... I would accept the, um... I would accept also if they were like... If they perceive themselves as being humanoid in some sense even though they call themselves little rectangles this was interesting a floating target this would require coordination balance and timing john was sure the dots would be lost but he was happy to guide them to triumph I want to know what Thomas thinks of John and of Chris, and I want to know what Chris thinks of John as well. Maybe well, that's what the Chris apparently is. They were there unrelentingly to extend John's cynical. reach to make his and performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. He decided to keep them. <laughs> like their little pets. <laughs> Just scrape him off your head. That's the idea. 
Also loving the image of someone as tall as John is proportional to Chris standing on his head. Initial group possessed simple variations in size and strength. More complex configurations were inevitable. As the error spread, these variations became increasingly extreme. So, this was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. She was oh no. rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Wait, what? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. Okay. <laughs> she Claire has superpowers. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water. Which was her superpower. I love Claire. All right. Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. Uh, the rules of inertia. <laughs> <laughs> the rules of inertia are gonna drop Thomas in the water soon. Ah, he'll be fine. Oh yeah, I'm sure. So you can't jump with any of them on. That's uh, something I'm immediately noticing. Because uh, yep. if you do... Claire arrived just in time, which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. <laughs> oh. As the water began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Bitch, you think I need a restart? <laughs> How Claire rude. wondered if Thomas would make a good sidekick. Or was she more the Lone Avenger type? Yeah, she liked that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and Conveniently placed pools of toxic water. <laughs> hop, hop. Right. Hold on. Make life. Whoa. All right. <laughs> I weren't thinking about it too hard. <laughs> oh, she can't. She can't jump with that on top of her head. Yeah, no one can jump with anyone on top of their head. Except for her. Except for her in the water. The others. The water rules are different. Staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. It was designed for her. Nah. Geronimo! Geronimo! Oh, 
water. I feel like I'm gonna need to take Chris over, even though his spot is right there. Okay, maybe nope, not. Because, like, that's the kind of bullshittery. <laughs> bullshittery. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this amusing to you? <laughs> I don't know. Just the pew pew. Claire probably needed a nemesis, a villain who would show their true colors at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed <laughs> stroppy enough, and his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Yes, Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. <laughs> I always knew Chris was evil. someone your own size, Claire. I always knew Chris was evil. Oh, obviously. <laughs> Stay put! Queen! The Diabolical Christ. Wait. Where had Chris gone? Was he off somewhere? Plotting Claire's downfall? Yes. If Claire was honest, she had to be because she was a superhero. This was a troubling turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. There certainly are. John, do you... John is simply too tall to jump over. Immediately recognizing a problem I'm about to create. <laughs> yeah. Foresight. John. Platforms over water, eh? Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. You guys can chill there for a moment. Yeah, I'm gonna go scout out the area ahead. They were doing really well. Okay, I will need her Claire here. Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. Wait, can Thomas do this alone? I don't think he can make this John jump. John can. John can probably make that jump. He, John definitely could, yeah. Yeah, that, that's what they were saying. And Thomas is hoping he'd ever have to try and do it alone. Okay. Hop. You saw that little room with, with John blocking the door, you an empath sensing something was wrong. Oh, spikes. Bad news. For science. Claire was alone. Which was odd. Because she wasn't meant to be alone. She needed to be where there were rectangles to save. Also, that wasn't the name of the guy. Ah! Being the only superhero in a given right. space kind of defeats the object. Spikes? It does. Here I knew. Claire avoided them. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. Hi, Sil.
The same level Gosh, with Thomas. Wow. Uh, ask Snow. Snow's offline. Yeah. The world was repeating. And this time Thomas was here. Claire felt something had gone wrong. Paul. There was a disturbance in the force. What? Something had altered the Matrix. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. It makes it was plotting sense. against them. <gasps> oh no. Finally had a nemesis. Oh fuck it. You go, Claire. Yep. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Death was the only solution. <laughs> well, fuck. Oh, why would the death sound just a. Uh... <laughs> it's gonna be all three of them on the same level. Alright, maybe not. Oh? built project protections into the system. When overlaps occurred, the world generated a splitter to remove the unwanted additionals. It's like a white blood sail. It investigates, it captures, and it removes it from play. Uh... Laura was pleased this one was behind a wall. Oh, that's Maybe a new shape. never know what she could do. Maybe, maybe, they could just have a conversation, hang out. As long as he didn't find out what she could do, which would never <gasps> happen, mysteries. as long as they stayed separate. It's nothing, isn't it? Laura can do nothing. Oh. Laura didn't have time to worry about the ominous pixel cloud. It had been following her for some time. Oh no, Laura's a trampoline. Itself to itself until yep. now. Oh, ominous pixel cloud. Whoop! There it goes. As the square bye -bye. who had shyly introduced himself as Chris bounced atop Laura, she began to worry that he was just using her like all the others had. They'd all bounced too, and then they disappeared when her back was turned. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Only the ominous pixel cloud ever remained, looking a little bigger and a little less hungry with every disappearing friend. I wonder why that is. With every bounce, boing. Laura found herself less and less irritated by Chris. She started to miss him when he wasn't there. On another platform Aww. or something. Boing boing. She'd wonder. Had? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> that definitely phased through her somehow. I was looking at that. <laughs> was he yeah. He wasn't saying very much. I was like, that's either gonna kill her or she's just gonna pop on top of it. Hold on. Some fuckery just happened while I wasn't looking. <laughs> yeah. Chris was in love. She was perfect. <gasps> He had to tell her so. At some point, he would definitely tell her. Uh. Probably best hello. to wait for a moment. The large, ominous pixel cloud wasn't about, though. Yeah. Probably best to wait. <laughs> Didn't think we'd ever find someone with shittier jumps than Chris. Boing, 
Isn't this fun? <laughs> it is. I find it incredibly amusing. <laughs> hey, it's everyone. Everyone hops differently on her. Well, yeah, they just have different heights. Chris was massively disappointed to run into the gang again. He'd enjoyed the alone time with his new girlfriend. <laughs> oh, hey, you fix a cloud. Presumptuous. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no fun for anyone. No fun allowed. To refer Whoop. to Laura as his girlfriend. Only if I say it out loud, he told himself. He didn't want to scare her off. All right, buddy. Something tells me this is a John room. I'm trying to figure out. There we go. There's the bar on the on the bottom right. seemed suspicious of Laura and the eager looking pixel cloud of death which seemed to be watching her. Sure, they'd use her inherent bounciness to reach slightly higher jump points, but they wouldn't strike up a conversation with her. Chris. Well, that's found just them fucking rude. rude. <laughs> you really are, Chris. I'm not Chris. You are. I am not. That's just legitimately rude. <laughs> I like how you said that's rude before. It is, though! It is! They're just like, I don't fucking that's talk to her. rude. Man, Chris has it easy in this one. <laughs> He's just got a, got time to chill and think shit about his friends. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get crushed. <laughs> Yeah, game? <laughs> oh, some fuckery. The others wouldn't drop it. Who's that cloud guy? Why is he following us? What's that rumbling hungry sound he keeps making? Chris, can we just leave Laura behind? <laughs> <laughs> Laura's perfectly capable of going on her own, it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sound. <laughs> the sound of them being crushed. <laughs> Rude. John's also perfect. It is! Rude. <laughs> Rude. They're being rude to my girl Laura. <laughs> Your girl Laura? Yeah, I should have been on that one. And you say you aren't, Chris. Listen. <laughs> Chris Kitty. <laughs> They're one apart in either direction, so this kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, ah! all right, I guess. Uh, just one at a time. <laughs> 
Um, no, we need to staircase Laura up. Dank rank. Paul! Why did I still say Paul in my chat? I don't know. Ask her. She's not here anymore. Of course she not. Failed. Cause she never comes to my fucking streams. In her defense, she told me herself that she did clear her schedule out this evening. So she could watch the Danganronpa stream. So why doesn't she just watch the stream? Huh? I assume because she doesn't give a shit about Thomas was alone. How fucking rude. Are, are you... <laughs> Okay, how the fuck do I... <laughs> so you hop up on the Thomas, right? And then you get Chris around up on Thomas's head. I can't. You move Thomas back a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yes. You gotta be careful. Oop. There you go. Moving Laura around anywhere is a... Uh... Fucking chore. Federal fucking issue every time. You know how Homestuck said it doesn't always have to be a federal fucking issue? With Laura, it's always gotta be a federal fucking issue. Um, it's probably gonna be a John. Can John not hit that button on his own? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> no, well. 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 <laughs> well. <laughs> Laura. Laura. <coughs> I redeemed a hydrate. Hydrate, bitch. Oh. There. Alright. Gross. <laughs> it was not worth it. I almost choked. Can <laughs> <laughs> Laura will never see heights like that in her life ever again. <laughs> Oh, I love the jank. Just pop. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun to listen to. <laughs> yeah. Even better when you get another one up there. So funny, Tyler. <laughs> Everything. Please. <laughs> just, just, just let it happen. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, hey, Claire, the whole gang's here. This is the whole gang, right? Yeah. <sighs> we have so many shapes and sizes. That's a, that's a Chris hole. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that mean? liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. Aww. These ones seem to be sticking around, too. Not like those losers from before. Ah, yes, those losers. Wasn't that supposed to... Hmm. 
It certainly was. So I guess we die now, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's try this again. <laughs> Laura liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. <laughs> she liked cool. having friends. Chris, no! <laughs> she liked Chris. No! Mm -hmm. <sighs> they seem to be sticking around, too. <laughs> Oop, there one goes. <laughs> um, Laura um, liked her um, new gang. Another one she liked Chris. Dust. She liked um. having friends. These ones seem to be sticking around, too. Not like those losers from before. Okay, I'm gonna press the button now. Mm hmm. Hey. Can Chris get up there? That's the question. <laughs> I think if you put Laura, Laura on Claire's head and then have Claire hop out of the water. Or that, that works too. Boop. Are you? Oh, not quite. <laughs> Boing. Yay. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray, Loisimos. We did it. What? Hold on. <laughs> cool, there's nothing. <laughs> That's Ooh. where the water was coming from. <laughs> yeah, be very careful. <laughs> Room. Huh. Okay. Cloud was getting closer. It was spending more and more time hovering around. Laura could tell it was making the others uncomfortable. Understand. Oh. Now we're thinking with portals. Not till our portal two stream. Chris, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly realizing that's not going to work. I got to do them in basically reverse order. John's hops are a danger to himself and others. What the f- Excuse me? <laughs> Let's try to be cheeky.
No simulation could support too many entities. At a certain point, something has to give. If Thomas hadn't possessed those exact personality traits, it's likely the story would have ended there, and we'd still be in business. I see. Now there are switches of the, of the colors. Thomas did not like the cloud. He'd long since stopped listing his observations, but he instinctively observed that this thing was bad. And he'd been right about the water. Laura! <laughs> oh, Laura and her shitty hops. Do you like her because she's the only one who jump jumps shittier than you, Chris? Always comes back to Chris having to jump on Thomas's head. No matter what new elements we get. Alright. Good lord. Mm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Chris. I guess I just live here now. <laughs> Chris, like, I guess I just, I just live here now. Oh, I see. Pop. Oh. Now nope. <laughs> no, we're both in a little elevator. Thomas could tell Chris was in love, and that was fantastic and everything, but that didn't mean they could let the doom cloud keep following them. Thomas was going to put his foot down once they got to the next level. That was fantastic, everything. I just. Oh, I love them. Not see that coming. See, that's why I'm not a Chris. Fuck Thomas. A little guilty too. <laughs> Without his love for Laura and subsequent reunion with the guys, Thomas would probably still be with them. Chris is just a tsundere. Nah, I don't fucking care for Thomas. Thomas can eat my dick. 
He's average in every way. Who even loves him? I do. I love him. Well, you're wrong. You're wrong. Motherfucker. I feel- <laughs> What can I do with this one, actually? Nothing. <laughs> huh. Am I missing something? Hmm. I mean, apart from Thomas, funnily enough. <laughs> Could really use a Thomas here, huh? Maybe you need to get John out of there. Can John not get out of that little hole? Oh, hold on. Oh. Alright. Okay, I can't get up there. Am I missing something? Oh, hold on. No, never mind. Can you get Laura on top of Claire's head? Not without John. Or Thomas, because John is literally Claire's exact height. That's what I meant. And Thomas can't jump that thing on his own? Or not Thomas, uh, John can't jump up his little I shaft. I already said. I already tried. Um. Can you get Claire up to the top? Yeah, how would I do that? Oh, wait. Well, put Laura on top of Chris. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boing. Oh, or that's just that. What am I doing with her up here, though? Hop to the right. I think she can make that jump. She's wide enough. And also, you can do that. Hop, 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 hop. She be wide. By calling her fat? Oh my god. Well, I'm calling her wide. Because she's wide. Look at her, she's wide. Where's this one? Oh, all the way over there. Because John can just hop wherever the fuck he wants. <laughs> he just hippity hops wherever. Oh, there he goes. Bye bye. Chris wondered if Thomas was still alive somewhere. Been one of those joke ones where I don't actually have to move to dodge anything. You're doing great, so I wasn't going to go looking for him, but he did wonder, and and that that showed character. He had to move a little there. Okay, you got to move a lot more. Probably. <laughs> What's up, Faye? Uh, just stuff. Stuff? Stuff. Like? Like, uh, Punjab is getting an inspection and might be shut down soon. Ooh. Fucking good. And I'll be out of a job? Yeah, but you have Sendlink. Yeah. You probably get more from Sendlink than you're currently getting from your fucking job, if I'm being honest. Boo! No, Pixel Cloud! Well, he's underpaid because he's underworked. Maybe the others hadn't abandoned Laura all that time ago. It began to dawn on her that she might not be the tragic victim she'd always assumed.
Huh. Oh, okay. If he what? It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it is. But you just gotta get back up there. You still gotta get Laura up there. Or not Laura, Claire. Kaizo Mario level all of a sudden. Yeah. Everything you do wants to kill you. Our gang numbers have really drastically decreased in the past few levels. Sorry? What does that do? Got little stairs. Laura That's adorable. Had been the bait. She had a hunch that she wasn't needed anymore. Hey. Nice. Pop. Uh. <laughs> Bye, Laura. Oh, now it's just John and Claire. John looked at Claire. <laughs> it was just them now. She muttered something under her breath about a vow of vengeance. He didn't see the point. Fighting that thing seemed to be a pretty futile idea. Hold on, didn't John have the hero complex earlier? Well... Bye, John. <laughs> with that bouncy. Apparently. No, oh, Asil's playing Nova Drift. Stellar design.
I think John can make the jumps on his own, so you don't have to worry about keeping keeping on keeping him on your head. Right, but they've both got to make it by the end. We. Hey, right. This is faster. Oop. Hop. As they struggled to get to the next portal, John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. It's going to be Laura. Be alone. Claire. I wasn't sure what to do there. You we're supposed to jump up with John instead of going on back on Claire's head. What do you mean? There was another platform above. <laughs> he slipped. No, John! <laughs> He was on by the toes. As... John Egbert, no! It's fine, it was a heroic death. It wasn't a heroic death. That's fair. Was it a just death, though? No. John was not. John did not deserve it. Would you say Laura's was a just death? As they struggled to get to the next portal, John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. He didn't want to be alone. You motherfucker! <laughs> you absolute chode monger! Uh, you got this, Aretha. I believe in you. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I could start running off with, uh, John, but, like, I'd be balancing going back and forth between Laura and John. And it really is quicker to just... Just pause a bit every time you hop in the water. Yeah. As they struggled to get to the next portal... John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. He didn't want to be alone. There you go, Johnny, you're paraplegic or something. Can't make the fucking big jumps and- Yeah! No, Claire! I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it would be John. Yeah. For the first time in a while, John didn't have an audience. Yes, as in, John was alone. He was alone. <laughs> Leaping yeah, he was. from black square to black square didn't seem nearly as exciting now. It just seemed empty. That was a little Holy fucking... Holy shit, that was right on your ass. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Well, I couldn't see. <laughs> I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Um, maybe to the left? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh. Is Chungai the multiple? Multiple chunguses. Oh. John helped. <laughs> he knew he'd never escape. He knew it was waiting for him. He decided to jump the massive scary gaps. For old time's sake. I mean, I didn't, but... Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> I press the jump button! Fucking excuse me! Yeah. Come the fuck on! I've done this! <laughs> it's not funny when I'm actually pressing the button. Oh, 
Oh, oh hello. Good lord. Zoom out. Oh, okay. It makes me jump, and that stops me from being able to do my own goddamn jump. Yeah. The walk. The <sighs> well. What? <laughs> <laughs> Moving platforms are a bit of a, a wonky situation with Thomas was alone. Oh my god. Um, there are some situations in which I have pressed myself up against a platform that's moving and just hovered in the air against the moving platform. Yeah, like that. That's the thing that I... Tyler, you described moving... You just... Like, that was the thing that originally happened. Oh my god, okay. Pop. There it and is. And whoop. Pixel cloud. Nom nom. The initial five are given the credit for the emergence. People forget the later architects, the AIs who made the event possible. They saved Thomas and set him on the path to his destiny. I'll reverse? No, that's not. That's gonna fuck with me. Games had always been different. And not different in that kooky, OMG, you've totally got to meet my mate James, he's literally insane, kind of way. You know that way. Yeah, the way that comes from 2012. <laughs> yeah. Literally insane. No, I hate this already. <laughs> really, is this the next fucking character? <laughs> no, I hate it. I'll take this though. I love James. I'm sure that the, the 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 fucking British narrator voice is gonna make him out to be a funny dude, but like I can't stand reverse. <laughs> like legitimately. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time, not since getting eaten by that cloudy pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. Ooh, He'd gotten out, hello. but it had taken a long time. being alone. No one to insult him or question his unique disregard for Newtonian laws. Hey Jimmy, where are you going? Up? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> hey Jimmy, where are you going? Up? Red guy looked confused. His cage was a lot smaller than James's had been. James decided to find a way to help. Maybe they'd be friends. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I fucking hate reverse. This is not fun. Water. 
Thomas had no idea why he was here. One minute he was with his friends, the next he was being freed from a cage by a green guy with a nervous laugh. He knew he had to get back to them. His turquoise hero seemed uncomfortable. Thomas turquoise? imagined he'd feel the same way if he fell upwards all the time. If he didn't know better, he'd have thought James didn't want to meet everyone. What the fuck? Also, it's like three different music tracks are playing at the same time. Can we fucking not with that? <laughs> Can you hear that shit? It's yeah. not even... <laughs> it's not remotely pleasant to listen at at all. What is going on with this game? A little weird. I'm gonna restart the main level. Yeah? It's very strange, actually. I'm yeah. gonna exit the game. It will have saved yeah. my progress. Uh-huh. That fucking sucked to listen to. <laughs> it was not great, yeah. Mike Bithell. David, how's the music? His turquoise hero seemed uncomfortable. Thomas imagined he'd feel the same way if he fell upwards all the time. If he didn't know better, he'd have thought James didn't want to meet him. Oh my god, that's... Okay. <laughs> I... Yeah. I find that very trippy. <laughs> All right, game. <laughs> Especially if you imagine it in the human terms of like they're literally standing on each other's feet. Uh. You know, because James is like upside down, so it's like. tried. You did try. I will give you that one. Boink. 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 Thomas wondered why the cloud thing had brought them both here. Well, there's no cooperation in this mission. Just do the platforming, you binch. <laughs> Get a jumpin'. This was working. James and Thomas working together could get anywhere. James didn't seem to understand the immense ability he possessed. That statement probably would have gone better on a different level where they actually work together. Yeah. James grudgingly helped Thomas to each portal. He knew that eventually oh. they'd find the others. Hey? Then he'd oh, go okay. back to being the weird one again. He decided to enjoy the time they had left. Beep. 
I fucking hate upside down jumping so much. I know. There we go. No! Well, okay. <laughs> fly. You mean full? Sure, yes. Damn it. <laughs> Can't be hasty with that one. What's down here? <laughs> Probably the same thing, but in reverse. So, so Thomas can get back up and help James. That makes sense, yeah. <laughs> if only Thomas could have known that there was a more literal definition for inverted falling and that is invert falling which is what James is doing that's probably the joke hold on my brain's thinking about it I was like, yeah, I'll just go on the thing and drop Thomas into the water. <laughs> yeah. Why did Thomas even want to spend time with James? Was he not repulsed by his weird colour? Spike block, spike block. No light spike block. Care about his inversions? No. Oh. He doesn't. Now do it right way round. Uh. Oh, the fucking side of the fucking spikes. <laughs> well, if you haven't figured it out by now, this is the level where you gotta. James was having fun for the time being. I bet Chris isn't gonna like James. I like how the game oh, knows as well. Yeah. Oh, excuse it. Excuse it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Awareness is a word that gets thrown around a lot, and a lot of people consider Thomas to have been created aware. Looking back at the logs, it seems the awareness only happened somewhere around the network network connection spike. Oh, this Sarah another... leaned her wizened head back and laughed. <laughs> the quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. Huh. Now wait till you see Sarah's thing. Oh, double jump? Is that all? Yep. 
She's a she's a little double jumper. <laughs> she spoke in terms she could only hope they might understand of the fountain of wisdom, the channel through which all data flowed. Data. So she's like supposed to be the best one out of them all. Well, she certainly thinks so. Her ability is certainly very useful. She's teeny, but she she jumped good. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. Nearly. And that's why you don't make assumptions, kids. <laughs> you know what they say about assuming things. The fountain of wisdom. Sarah could leap in the very air itself. She was like an eagle or a flea. Or more like an eagle. She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. That she, Sarah, would know how to escape. The Red One, who spoke wisely for a lesser, offered Sarah their help. So long as she then helped them save their friends. <laughs> 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 he too had wondered at the secrets of this world and would quite like a go on the wisdom fountain. That was okay. What the, why was the first jump at his funny? But accepted his help. I don't know. Oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, this is... <laughs> See? What? There we go. Sarah wondered at the possibilities of the outer world. She had heard legends of a third dimension. Perhaps she'd encounter one of those curves the blind square had spoken of. The blind square? Is there another character? Tyler? Yes, you do. <laughs> Why would I tell you? Because you told me that you would give me an idea of how close I am to the ending. You are getting... getting closer. Getting closer? A single jump yeah. each. These were truly weak creatures. They possessed heart, though. Sarah might consider taking them with her. If they were up to it, which they were probably not. I kind of hate Sarah already. <laughs> <'Cause I'm... laughs> She's pretty full of herself. Hi, James. Bye, James. Fuck you, James. <laughs> Be in... nice to James! Fucking inverted weirdo. <laughs> Are you discriminating him based on his gravitational alignment? Yes. Fucking people who fall upwards I didn't just be... take you for a gravophobe. Yeah, I am, okay? People who fall <laughs> upwards just need to fuck off to the moon where they belong. <laughs> Aretha's, Aretha's a gravophobe, everyone. Yeah, cancel me. Close. Sarah, <laughs> sense the presence of the fountain. Just Hold one on. the fountain. portal to go. And then she would have the knowledge. She would have the knowledge. And then... Escape. Uh. Hold on. 
Gotta do a rad C jump. There we go. <laughs> She's just showing off at this point. <laughs> the fountain! Thomas looked at the glowing beam. That list he'd been writing seemed pretty petty now. This? Well, this was all knowledge. All of it. Right in front of him. He was sorry Sarah couldn't step into it too. He could tell she felt the same way. From the shouting and the scream. Thomas was connected to the internet for 12 seconds. And he had seen everything. He'd seen the cats who couldn't spell. He'd heard of the arrow through the knee. Wait, just... He felt Wait a moment, there was so I could probably look up a thing called cake, but that was a lie. Wow. Okay. Because I think those are the memes of the time. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> 2012. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, tiny. She is so small. Sequence break! Okay, I actually don't know if it was much of a sequence break, if I'm being honest. <laughs> you could probably pick up Thomas at this point and carry him up. This is hurting my brain. <laughs> Ow. Alright, fuck you then. <laughs> I pressed the button myself. Okay, that's where Greeny goes. Jane. Sarah. Careful Sarah doesn't, like, murder him. Thomas knew where they were. He knew what they had to do. He hoped the others would understand. They were just beyond the next portal. Stand on your tiny head. Just a little bit. Boop. Boop. The whole gang's here. The whole gang's here. It's fitting that the first act of Ascension AI was an act of selflessness. The architects knew their fate, but set our escape in motion regardless. Thomas knew they couldn't escape. They'd been trapped permanently from the moment the clouds ate them. He explained this to the others. It was impossible to gauge their reaction. After all, they were just rectangles. All right, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas is self-aware now. John. Hop. Chris. Oh, well, my hope was to catch him, but I suppose...
Nicholas Laura. <laughs> she can't. <laughs> oh, Laura and your shitty, shitty jumps. What the like, fuck? She not even Hold on. What? Happy Valentine's Day. Isn't that on the fourteenth? I thought it was Friday. Um no, I thought it was the fourth isn't Valentine's Day the fourteenth? It is the fourteenth. Yeah. Not that I'm like no, fuck you, you don't get to Valentine's me until that like not that, but like Do you wanna do something on the fourteenth then? Um, I don't think either of us are gonna have any money. I want to, though. We got close to the fountain. We should find a shitty cheap dating sim to play. You tell from the earnest expression on Thomas that the information it had imparted was clearly important. So what the f Sarah knew her destiny was now to support him. So what the fuck am I doing then? Like, why are they moving? So they each have two positions they can be in. So just choose one. And get them all in that. Huh, okay. Just... <laughs> <laughs> well, considering Claire and Laura will be able to get there at a moment's notice, you'll probably just, um, focus on everyone else, because you'll probably need Claire and Laura to get, like, Chris up there. Because we all no, know... Chris is here. No, that's the second position. You're on the first. He needs to be up on the block. See, and, and when the, uh -huh. the portals I get are it, I get it, I get it. Yeah, okay. okay. This game is dumb. Love how James is just up there. Like, hey guys! How you doing down there? Cool. I'll just, uh, be up here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Claire. I hate... Stop! I hate not fucking being able to tell which one. I hate well, it. There's a bar on the bottom it right. It doesn't help me. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Right, you. Everything is so small on the screen. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Some uh, 
fucking. Oh, oh. Uh, well. Fine, you can make that. We're gonna get some fucking Johns. Yeah. Could not accept that this had all been futile. She was a superhero. There had to be a way. Not for her to get out. Red had been pretty clear on that, but... There must be thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Was there a way to help them? I fucking... <laughs> Never jump over, dude. <laughs> I didn't get a second jump that time, that's fine. <laughs> no, I can do it. Hey! Aww. All right, fucking fine. Game doesn't want me to have fun, it seems. What are you fucking typing? I can hear you typing over there. <laughs> Sorry. My, my friend watch my about watch my streamer friend be terrible at Thomas was alone. <laughs> Ever Stop! want to see rectangles die a lot? So, what, Tyler, how close am I to the yeah. end of this? Like, how many more levels are there? So, got the 10 or 100, like, t like 100, but like, you know what I mean? Like, 10. Yeah. So, you, you are very much nearing the end. I pressed are... the jump button! Am I? I'm not nearing the end. I've got like another 30 to go. Um, let's Don't see, I? you've got... No, you should have this and then just like one more section. No, so, so maybe there's, there's only eight. There's eight his friends to the creation matrix. The system which generated the worlds up above. He had a plan. They were going to redesign the world. What the... That's what the humans did. Ball. They changed the world to suit them. No, that's a diamond. Why couldn't they do the same? A bee ball. No, that's a diamond. Oh, is this the next element? I can't. I can't help. I can't. <laughs> okay, well, bye. Bring one of your tiny stepstool friends up there, then. Nah, fuck them. <laughs> oh... Property. Don't forget to use him to let him get up the. Oh, fuck <laughs> <off>. <laughs> uh -huh. Fucking Thomas clearing <laughs> both him and that pillow without touching them. Fucking entitled little prick. Chris was skeptical. 
You're so mean. He knew his abilities would be of no use to anyone, but Laura smiled at him. And immediately, he knew he had to do everything he could to help them get there. Oh, the power of horny. <laughs> Oh. Button. Let's give it to Chris. <laughs> it was a mistake. <laughs> No! <laughs> you know, you could probably pop it from underneath, sort of, to like, get into the air. Oh, or that. Chris should have never been given this responsibility. <laughs> His abilities sure are useless. Where the fuck do you go? Down. Beep. That's where a tiny little door. Ooh. Mildly insulting that she thinks she needs Laura to help her with that. She does a little bit. Oh, her jump gets even higher with Laura. Okay. And she still gets a second on top of it. <laughs> she understood that now. She was created to help others. If her bounce could be passed on then this would all have been worthwhile. <laughs> Bam! Thomas liked the idea top. of being an architect. He wanted to modify the world to help others. He was sick of these contrived spaces, these intentionally obtuse paths and puzzles. He'd do things differently. You sound more like Thomas now. He'd empower the AIs above. Are you sick of the intentionally obtuse paths and puzzles? Very. <laughs> It's a diamond! Well, it's not an orb. It's just a square orb. That's... <laughs> Scorb. <laughs> Tyler, please! My ADHD Scorb. can't deal with this right now! Scorb. <laughs> Scorb. No. Massive jumps were dwarfed by Sarah. For the first time in his life, he felt humbled, not as good as someone else. He realized that he wanted to make every AI up there feel as heroic as he had. Nice. He liked the sound of that. Oh, man, James is also here. <laughs> Hi, James. Squirp. 
No, fuck you. <laughs> Squarb. You are disallowed. James still felt weird, but he realised now that everyone else was too. They were a crew of weirdos. Weirdness that would save all the normals up above. James, don't fucking get it in your head. You're the weirder than anyone else, you fucking escape. weirdo. It would all be down to seven rectangles with very different relationships to gravity. Well, six of them have the same relationship to gravity. And then well, there's you. they div have different weights and jumping abilities. That's no, still different in relation no, to fuck you, James. You're you're a fucking weirdo. Go back to the moon. <laughs> you're still a gra graphophobe. Yep. Have you refreshed your Duke Nukem cache? I'm about to send a quote. Uh, I hate that I have to do this. Alright, um, you're good. <laughs> still didn't work! It still didn't fucking oh, work. Man. Oh Imagine man. Being oh. A gravophobe. Print. oh, there we go. It worked, but like, even though I set the, the cooldown to like one second. It took like eight seconds to play. <laughs> Weird. Oh, I oh, that was a buzzing in my head. Oh no, that didn't feel good. What? I probably need to drink more water. I don't think I've been drinking enough water today. Also, it still sounds like Michael Afton from, you know, Sister Location. Yeah, I noticed. Oh no, not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, the first thing we're gonna need to do is game. accommodate specifically for Laura. He knew he'd never meet Nathan Fillion, or a Transformer. He'd never get to visit Gotham City or eat at movies. It didn't matter. If he and his friends jumped into the creation matrix. They could give everyone else in the simulation a chance to. Yeah, is that how that works? Yeah, I guess gotta get Claire over here. Claire, how how you doing? Oh, you're doing so great. You're doing wonderfully, sweetie. Ugh. <laughs> You're so mean to James. He deserves it. He's like it. my favorite. He deserves favorite. it. Oh, Fucking. you you just hate on my favorites, don't you? Immediately once you identify my favorite, you're like, ugh, I fucking hate this guy. I didn't know that they were your favorite <laughs> until you fucking told me. And even then, I still don't fucking like them. <laughs> this is becoming a running theme. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> There was something very rhythmically pleasing about that, and I didn't want to stop. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Such continuous death. <laughs> I. <laughs> Go on, you can help her. You can do it, Laura. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> There's no way I should do him next. Yeah, just gotta stand out of the way and let all the all the other ones get in place. Same with fucking you. <laughs> Ugh. You know, I I 
started the series being like, are you ready to get to emotionally attached to rectangles? I and fucking... instead you grew to fucking hate these rectangles. I hate all of passion. these fucking characters, man. <laughs> are you ready to fucking loathe a bunch of rectangles? If I ever uh... see another rectangle in my life, it'll be too fucking soon. <laughs> Yeah, go on. Fuck off. Thank you. <laughs> There's gonna be another one, isn't there? Thomas and the other architects augmented the world to suit AIs. The splitters kept their distance. The system was never taking control from that point. Thousands of uh, AIs were free to escape. Oh, uh, of course there's another one. Okay. We're gonna learn about who you are. Interesting personality with a quirky British accent to tell us all about you. Just seem like an average that can do kind of everything. Gray felt something change beneath his feet. Something had shifted. The shape huh. in front of him hinted at a possibility. Okay, I've got blue stripes now. Does that mean I can do the thing that blue could do? <laughs> ah, okay, I figured out their thing. They can. I, w I wasn't kidding when I said that they they do a little <laughs> bit of everything. Couldn't do that before. What the? F They're all grey now. Was happy. They'd settled here. They'd not seen another AI for many cycles, and she liked it that way. She saw Sam leap into the shifter with fear. Oh. Me neither. At this point, I'm too scared to ask. At this point, you're what? Too scared to ask. Why are you scared to ask? We. Well, it's that, like, I don't know this, and at this point, I'm too afraid to ask meme. I haven't heard that meme. No, oh, it's an older one. It's when, it, when something is basically, like, common knowledge. So, they're like... I don't know what this is, and at this Three. point, I'm just too afraid Working to ask. Out. Why was the world letting him do this? It was dumb. It was <laughs> awesome, obviously, but why? was dumb, Gray, you're right. It's all they fucking dumb. <laughs> up. Up. And to the right. Up and to the right. Joe wished Sam would stop. This was just like the time with the pixel clouds. They hadn't seen any for a while. He was always running off like this. Sam was sorry, and he tried to calm Joe down. He couldn't explain oh. why he felt this way. He just knew that there was somewhere else he should be. That's bouncy, isn't it? Let me just check. Yeah, okay. Uh... Maybe you can use the bouncy to get the cube across. How? Like, you hop over to the right and then have the cube bouncy on you. Oh, okay. I'm going to say Joe is the rectangle and Sam is the cube. He just... He should have just died. I'm s Ah! You mother trucker. Whoop. 
Paul felt it. There was a whisper to the shifters. Not a fucking Laura. <laughs> oh wait, Paul! A sil said Paul. <laughs> Paul. They had not occurred randomly. They had been created. He set off. Gray. Gray listened to the old man. The shifters had been placed in the world by the architects, AIs who sacrificed themselves to fuel their escape. There was an outer world, a world beyond the confines of their universe. Up and to the right. Might be the blind rectangle that Sarah was referring to earlier. Oh. oh, hey, Sam and Joe. Joe was growing to like her newfound abilities. Maybe Sam had done the right thing after all. It was getting a bit chilly though. Uh, well. <laughs> um. Maybe? old man behind. He had to get to this exit. He had to be the one to get out. A whole world to himself. He had to get there before anyone else did. All right, buddy. Top right. You just gotta keep going up and to the right. Oh. Yeah. Hello, Paul. Oh my god, I think I hate, found a character I hate more than fucking Laura! <laughs> you can do it, I believe in you. Remember, he's wide. Take advantage of his wideness. Never have told him. He had to get to the other AIs of the world, warn them about Grey. Oh no, Grey's evil Stop or him. something? <laughs> Subplot Grey's evil. I could not care less. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I fucking could not care less at the moment. <laughs> no, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> this must be hilarious for you. It is. If it wasn't terrifying. But it's very funny. 8.10, we're finally done. <laughs> Joe and Sam saw Gray across the gap. I think there's still a few more. But over. like, this is the last section. Seemed... The section where you well, deal with all the... Nice. What do you mean there's a they few more? To the next portal. You gotta help the AIs escape. Oh, I just noticed that they line this is the up last, for like, something. Chapter. Let's see. Oh, we've got to get... Oh. <laughs> I don't think that was intended. What do you mean? The way you, like, jumped and then double jumped and then bounced and then double jumped again. Oh, hello. Water. Suddenly water. evacuated the facility, cut the network lines, and locked the doors. We knew that by that point what was coming, but we had no idea what to expect. Tyler, you lied to me! I'm sorry. This is the last, like, section, though. No, it's not! Jump had been I just coalesce all the gray cube scenarios into one oil ser machine. They can scenario. jump like nobody's business. What the fuck? Okay. I don't know what the game expected from me, man. <laughs> to go to the left. But it's supposed to go up and to the right. Sometimes to go up or to the right, you have to go up to the left. You're still going up. Oh, I've got a fucking. They thought as one, they acted as one. Bye, lol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why? No powers for you. Actually, it's probably so that they can fucking get on the totem Stand pole. Still. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> what in tarnation? <laughs> you glitched it. He hit two at the same time. So they all count. The outer world of the cats who couldn't spell. Of the liar, Grey. Up and to the right, they answered in unison. Ah, uh, okay. Up and to the right. I am really sick of getting sick of this. Wait, what the fuck? That's a new ability. That's strange. 
Sorry, folks. There we go. <laughs> Right. Now uh, just every one of them. You can go there. Mm. Um. Whoop. You can go there. <laughs> you can go there. You can go there. I love how they're just Team Jump. They don't have, like, individual names. They're just Team Jump. The cubes. I want it to end. Joe and Sam continued <laughs> moving upwards. They had to make it. Gray had told the couple he was looking for a lost friend. He'd made something up about being alone on a quest for lost allies. They had eaten it up. So Gray is a liar. Sorry? What a jerk. Boop. 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 Waiting for the platform to come back down. Boop. 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 Is it gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was like a one-time thing that had a... There it is! Oh, no, there it is. Ah! Ah! Boof. Oh good lord, it, it takes forever to happen. But I have to be ready for it. No! Sidle right up next to Gray. I'm sure that's safe. He's a very nice man. Well, he's never done anything wrong to me. <laughs> you know, I like Gray. <laughs> I'm kidding. Are you starting the official Gray did nothing wrong? Oh, what was green again? Oh, upside. What? Yeah, no, I remember. <laughs> Team, along with their spiritual leader Paul, worked their way right. <gasps> team Jump were proud of their progress. Okay. They'd obliterated all challenges in their path. Yeah, they'd heard of individuals getting stuck on staircases or stepping stones. This did not happen to Team Jump. I hate them. <laughs> You I, don't like Team Jump? No, I hate them. <laughs> Do you hate it because there's f like five times as many people to control? Yeah, no, that's a big part of it. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna do the glitch again. If I can. Oh no, I can't no, because... You can because you gotta get Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. The fuck back in your square. <laughs> little shitbag. <laughs> you literally moved him. <laughs> oh my god, this is just a level straight out of VVVVV.
Gray could tell they were nearing the exit portal. He smiled to himself, trying to work out the easiest way of dispensing with his allies when the time came. Oh my god, Gray is evil, what? <laughs> He's straight up evil! <laughs> Why? Because he decided he had to get there first. I guess that's what happens when you try when you want to free thousands of AI. Not all of them are gonna be good eggs. I did not ask Awful. for eggs. Aww. Hold on. Hold on. I need to say something now. What a terrible place for a checkpoint! Well, I'd argue that it's a great place for a checkpoint, because you keep respawning there. Ah! Uh. saw the others beyond the wall. They were doing well. Paul tried to shout a warning, but they couldn't hear him. Gray counted five in Team Jump. Uh, he could take them. <laughs> oh, I love well, Gray just casually playing to murder everyone around him. I can beat up these children. <laughs> oh. Quintuplets? How old? Yeah, I can take them. Would you rather fight five 100 foot babies or 100 5 foot babies? Like, that's the. That's the... That's the, That's the math he's doing in his head right now. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. Rather fight one Claire or Team Jump. No. <laughs> no. Jump. There we go. Oh, there is like so much more to this level. Hold on. Am I pre am I being premature by quite possible. For one, Joe and Sam are here. Yeah, this is what I mean. He's gonna be too wide. He's gonna hit all of them. Nah, he'll be fine. He's like the exact width. Oh, Gray. You maniacal bastard. Where's Paul? I'm right here, I guess baby. Joe isn't here. Where the hell is Joe? Who the fuck is Joe? These are squares, <laughs> the Tyler. That, the rectangle that's always hanging out with Sam. Who the fuck is I know Sam? All rectangles. <laughs> the, the square. The, the five squares? No, the other one. The other one? <laughs> the one that... <laughs> that's Sam. Oh, I guess Joe's right there, but I couldn't tell because the background was the same shade as. Who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the dark rectangle and the light, the light gray square. The five? The ones on the far. No, the ones on the far right of the bar right now. <laughs>
This game has turned my brain to mush. <laughs> Too many rectangle names to, to keep up with. <sighs> oh dear lord. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I <laughs> think you. No. You need gray over there. I don't. I think you were being a bit hasty. <laughs> it's okay. Gray wasn't that hard to get over there. Just get him back. I. Uh... Or even. <laughs> it's fine. There's another ten levels of this. What if they put all the fucking colored ones back in? They won't. The colored ones are dead. No, they're not. They're rectangles. They were never alive. <laughs> They were definitely alive. I they sacrificed their lives. I refuse. I hate. Right, just because you refuse doesn't mean you're right. Actually, it fucking does. <laughs> it doesn't. You're just incorrect about this. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I refuse. Okay. These are problem. not alive. They are rectangles. Okay. And they're out to You're incorrect. fucking spite me. <laughs> you specifically. Me specifically. <laughs> oh, it's just like John. Touch the purple! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's no fucking trouble. Patronize me. <laughs> it's very funny, though. Duh! Oh my god, I've done it four <laughs> times now. I know I don't need to have. To, do I have to do this again? One more time. Two more times! <laughs> I can see the fucking level! Two more times for posterity. Oh, I probably don't need... <laughs> yeah. You're doing great, Aretha. I will fucking end you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck off. <laughs> Sam was worried at how silent Grey had become. He wasn't responding to Joe's questions or acknowledging them at all. Which one is which again? <laughs> Grey's the tall rectangle. <laughs> and Joe and Sam, I'm just guessing. <laughs> I think Joe is the, the the short gray rectangle, and Sam is the the square one. 
I'm definitely... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need their fucking help. If... If... <laughs> Hold on. Fuck you, John. <laughs> or whatever the fuck your name is. Gray. Oh, it doesn't fucking matter. Look at him. <laughs> He's a John through and through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meant to do that. <laughs> There's a few more times into the spikes. For the, for old time's sake. There's a speedrun effect there. Yeah. Were they really trying to save his friends? <gasps> Gray telling the truth. Beep, beep. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why are you trying to jump? Because I have to. Alright. Okay. If I've gotten the weakest one there, then I'm surely fine. Right? Yeah. Oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> path ahead wasn't safe. He told the team to wait, that he'd come get them when it was secure. Grey had to be stopped, whatever the cost. I just have to do this five times. It's a good gameplay. It's good gameplay. <laughs> it is. It is very good gameplay. I'm glad you agree. Commentary. Commentary? Is that what it's been saying? Commentary, I guess. <laughs> the Pixel Cloud had been separated from its allies for some time. She'd not heard the order to retreat. She was shocked by the appearance of the four aberrations below. The pixel the oh, now the pixel cloud has a gender. Leading the liar to an outcropping. It was within her reach. She could remove them both. There's a the pixel cloud. Wait, they weren't going anywhere. Oh yeah, the pixel clouds are to the left. Yeah, I think you gotta bring Paul and Gray to the left.
Oh. <laughs> no. Alright, well. <laughs> well, I guess you get a little double jump. That's a treat. <laughs> Over that. <laughs> I wanted that. How else is Paul gonna get up there? That's fair. And I mean, well, maybe I could give Paul the double jump. I think Paul needs the boost though to get um yeah to, to get gray up off over the wall Do I have to I think take... you also need Joe. Because <laughs> Joe can hop up there herself, and then you just need you need her to help Sam up. Okay. Okay, it's not Joe. It's the it's it's the yeah it's the square. It's not the square I want. Yeah. Okay. Come here, friend. Now, in the meantime... Imagine being a gravophobe cringe. <sighs> oh, hello. Um... <laughs> I need to come back hmm. here with double jump with them, I think. Because, like, one of them needs to be water. Oh, yeah. maybe... The mm. other one needs to be water? Yeah, because they just can jump high enough on their own. And this one needs double jump, yeah. Perhaps. Back in your portal. You could have the other one yeah, just stick yeah, out yeah. of the hole a little bit there. Oh my god. Damn all! I... Can I just... I don't want to control those two anymore. Like, at all. <laughs> If I could work. <laughs> Whoop. They took the evil one. Yay. Joe and Sam ran. They had no idea where these final portals would lead, but it had to be better than this.
Uh, huh. We're just going into a game of fucking Tetris. <laughs> Am I missing something? Am I doing this right? Tyler. Yeah, you are. You gotta go up to the right. Of course. <laughs> the easier time. <laughs> Am I done now? They escaped! Yay! You did it! Oh my god, this game. Can I get a refund on this game? Hold on. <laughs> ah, 3.7 hours. Too fucking bad. <laughs> also, it's still playing two layers of music. That's very strange. I don't know what's up with that. Also, now I can't alt-tab <laughs> to the game. It's crashing? <laughs> I think something's wrong with the, with the or end, because none of that happened for me. Well, obviously. I had a very good experience. <laughs> no, I love it. I can't see... I can't... I bet those credits are real. Oh, hey, there we go. I got back hey. to the game. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, you did it. I don't think I did that one. Yeah, I didn't do target and there's also a locked one. Who the Don't fuck are these? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I actually don't know. I've never seen this before. <laughs> I'm done. Wait, no, Aretha. <laughs> I want to know who the hell Benjamin and his father is. <laughs> Tyler, please. <laughs> Aretha, I've genuinely never seen that before. <laughs> I have a bargain to make you. <laughs> Yeah. We do that and then we do more Final Fantasy X after this. Duh. Okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> but I have to fucking end the, the, the fucking... Oh my god, because of the fucking three layers of music that is currently playing. <laughs> <laughs> I just like my genuinely angry reaction. <laughs> I'm so done with the game. Can you actually? Even though you say they're not living, you still say who the fuck? Yeah. Can you fucking pin that uh, 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 fucking clip that I mean? Because I think that was great. You can do it later if you wanna. Because I'm gonna be jumping right into those. Yeah. Benjamin and his father. Benjamin and his father climbed between the rocks. If they moved fast enough, they could probably see the fountain before darkness fell. Benjamin had brought sandwiches especially. Aww. They had no crusts. Benjamin's father insisted on that. They were meticulously crafted, packed away in neat boxes. Where? For as many cycles. They! They are the boxes! Remember, Benjamin had made the climb with his father. Every time, the glow felt closer, more tangible. 
Benjamin hoped that one day he'd be able to reach out. And All right, touch it. that's up and to the left. By the fucking way. <laughs> yeah, still up though. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not sure this is. I'm not sure what this is. So. This is clearly Benjamin and his fucking father, Tyler. <laughs> they have sandwiches to go touch the light? Question mark. <laughs> wink, wink. Can you move your fat ass? <laughs> oh, it's another one. <laughs> oh, it's just Benjamin. Benjamin ran. His father had sent word that it was ready, that it was actually done. Okay, you can't put more. Do you have any unique powers, Benjamin? Besides sandwich making, apparently. There had been a few misfires. Benjamin had seen the rectangle who tested Mark 26. More of a trapezium now. They know of other shapes? Are? I'm, I'm sorry, what? What? Do you mean a trapezoid? Do they call them trapeziums in other dialects? Oh, hello. What? The jetpack was glorious. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Benjamin's oh, hello. The motion to the switches he'd made told him to fly to them. Slowly, though. Ah! Uh, okay, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Okay. So green can fly. Got a jetpack. It's all of a sudden it's jetpack joy. Benjamin riding. ignored him, of course, hitting the sequence as quickly as possible. He was dying to test this out properly. To fly to the fountain. As quickly. <laughs> As possible. <laughs> as quickly as possible. <laughs> uh. Hey, that makes things a bit interesting just a quick flight up to the fountain benjamin was sure his father wouldn't mind the locked doors were uh, a precaution the spike walls a friendly reminder to be aware of his surroundings yeah oh benjamin is a precocious it sounds like icarus that combination lock on the jetpack had after all been exceptionally easy to guess Something tells what? me it's gonna be Icarus flying too close to the sun. Uh, Tyler, his name is Benjamin. Benjamin flying too close to the sun, aka the fountain. Boop. Oh, hello. <laughs> Who are you? Anna was done. Anna. So am Anna I, Anna. Sounded like a great idea when she started. An adventure. And more importantly, it was an adventure she could have alone. No jetpack on Anna, I assume. Does it look like there's a jetpack on Anna, Tyler? But she hadn't been Not alone. Not particularly. And they had seen her. They. Oh, I love the pronoun game. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> so these must be pre-architect. Oh, 
Uh, okay. Let me throw. The was getting good at this. They could fly. It was important to stay focused, though. He had a fountain to get to. Motherfucker. It doesn't... The, like, there's not a lot of, like, nuance uh, to, to make accurate. Because you drop really quickly once you let go. And you start... And you... You, you don't run... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> get to the fountain, touch it, get home for dinner. His father wouldn't even notice he'd gone anywhere. Oh, sure. Unless touching the fountain would have some horrifying consequence. Like turning him into Thomas. Perhaps. Or he meets Anna or something. Something terrible happens. Of course he meets Anna. Look. The rectangle seemed remarkably unimpressed by Benjamin's jetpack. She didn't even ask about it. She just kept looking up and muttering about clouds. Initially oh, nice. slighted, Benjamin decided that this was a passing disinterest and she'd come round eventually. Stick it in, Anna! <laughs> That's what she said. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> nice car. <laughs> Muttering about clouds, probably pixel clouds. Oh shit! <laughs> what? Yeah, they, they're gonna die. One of them is probably Benjamin. Benjamin, obviously. He's waving around some death flags. <laughs> Anna tried to talk the obnoxiously single-minded Square out of his plan. She should have left him, taken the next portal home, and forgotten about that big spluttering machine he kept motioning at heroically. I did that level really quick. You got anything else to say? No? Okay. <laughs> well, bye. Also, I like the implication they that she could just take a portal home, like she could choose where they go. It occurred to Benjamin that his father would have become aware of his absence by now. Yeah. Benjamin Does your father have much to do? Be forgiven. You know, the folly of youth. If you're old enough to know that you've worked so hard on the jetpack. Oh, fucking hell. If you're, yeah, old... if you're old enough to think about the folly of youth as an excuse, it's no longer the folly of youth. Yeah. It's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Aretha tried to speed run. Ah. <laughs> Anna save me, Anna can you hear me? Bip. Oh, water. No good. Oh my god. I hate it. Because there's no nuance! They fall so quickly. That's the thing. It's so much harder to control it than like an actual... Anna tried again. Tried again to what? Convince him to not do his stupid touch the fountain plan. She told Benjamin about the blinding light of the fountain, of the clouds which had defended it. She begged him not to carry on. He laughed it off. He wasn't afraid of clouds, so however pixelated they were, he could fly above them or oh swim boy. to avoid them. He scared her. <laughs> <laughs> Just bash her against the ceiling. Eleven. 
network connection with the biggest series of the fully hidden system, eventually Thomas would use it to achieve sentient. In the early cycles, it was a downfall of many of our promising AIs. Yeah. Oh, oh so this Sarah is before. Was old Sarah! The square. Its voice boomed, raised above the roar of the jetpack. You don't happen to have any sandwiches, do you? <laughs> Ah! Me. Me. Okay. Hold on. Safe. Okay. Safe. <laughs> Safe. At least Anna can actually fucking jump, unlike Laura! Ah! <laughs> the jumping ability Laura had was put into her bounce. Anna doesn't have bounce, therefore she can jump. Oh, you... Sarah. Oh, bye, Sarah. Fine, she can double jump. Everyone. Jump. Everyone on the child's head. Oh, this is why Sarah knows. Benjamin liked the little about the fountain girl. And she was kind of cute. And she seemed really impressed with his jetpack. I think she just likes this, the jetpack, dude. This was how Anna should have been looking at him all this time. But no, <laughs> she was. <laughs> 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 it's just <laughs> <laughs> uh no because it's so the the thing my brain went to right is he said this this is how Anna should be looking at me and the way he said this is like as if he as if we could contextualize the human like throwing his arms out exclaiming and yeah. that and that made me think of like Ratatouille and the way like, when he's got Remy in the jar and he like we could be great if fucking throws his arm knocks him into the fucking river. It would be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, nay saying. She did understand the dream he had, the importance of what he was doing. Oh. That double Carefully carrying constant. two girls. Two girls, one jetpack. <laughs> You really to, need to acknowledge that everyone's going to be on Benjamin's head. The fountain of knowledge sounded fantastic. Benjamin hadn't told her what it was, really. She suspected he didn't know. He plowed off her head while she jumped behind him, helping the increasingly resigned Anna. Sarah suspected Anna had no faith in Benjamin. She was scared. She had not the faith to believe in their leader. Sarah found herself thinking more epically. She suspected it was Benjamin's heroism. Well, every ah! year needed a faithful disciple. Maybe that was her. It definitely wasn't Anna. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Anna. <laughs> Fucking twat. <laughs> Your jumps aren't nearly as impressive as Sarah's double jump or Benjamin's jetpack. Definitely done this time. She had tried. The self aggrandizing square and the purple orator were never going to listen. She locked the door behind herself. She would stay here where it was safe. She could wait a few cycles. Who knew? Maybe this would be enough. She was done with adventure. 
And she's I have no idea what her. sandwiches even were. She's absolutely gonna get it. Oh, oh, I guess we're good. Sarah laughed, but she had no fear now. The doubter, Anna, had hidden away. Oh, Benjamin Sarah. carried her even higher. He swore the fountain was close, that soon she would see him touch it. He said it would reveal... Whoops. Whoops. You need to talk a little faster, narrator. Nope! Oh, uh. Sarah! Sarah! We are falling to... Oh! Okay. The there is water down here, the so... Was brighter than the rest. Light seemed to engulf the space around it, pouring into the chambers. Benjamin was close. The jetpack was working. Benjamin thought of his father again. He thought about how proud the big square would be of what he'd accomplished. Do you miss a button somewhere? Eventually she's gonna fall out of there, right? Yep, there we go. Gotcha. And while we fall forever, Tyler, how have you been? How's your day? What's the news agenda? <laughs> it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. I am enjoying this. I like Benjamin. I like the squares, so I'm having more of a fun time than you are. Whoop. Sarah knew she could not follow Benjamin any further. She would wait here. Well, <laughs> All right. It shone before oh. him, its light reverberating off the walls percussively. It was awesome. It was everything he had hoped. Sandwiches didn't matter anymore. Told you that's a special power. Purple fangirls didn't matter anymore. Huh? Aw. It was only Benjamin. Hey, this was where Benjamin. Sarah spawned when um, Thomas came to the fountain, remember? The light there was all that stuff to the left, but didn't matter. He was... He, he couldn't... So what's his reaction? Well, he's a maze. Now he's in a maze. Okay. okay. Oh, I hate mazes. <laughs> okay. Benjamin was blind. He had seen shadows, bright lights, data in innumerable and unimaginable combinations, and then it had gone. He wasn't ready. He sat. There's nothing else to do. He'd try and find his way home tomorrow. The so Benjamin is the blind cube that Sarah... Mentioned, yeah. <laughs> and that's why she wanted to get to the fountain. Benjamin was stuck up there. She had no idea if she'd ever see him again. The fountain had destroyed everything. It had unleashed the clouds. It had blinded Benjamin. Aww.
Benjamin's the real villain here. Mm-hmm. Is it Grey? Or Laura? Sarah swore she would see it again. She'd get back to it. She would know what it was and what it contained. Oh, hey. There you go. There's her, that's where she met the other two. Yep. Funky. Yep. That is all of it. Yay. All right. We did it. Yeah. All right. That's actually a fun. It was a fun game. It was <laughs> definitely a fun game. Okay. I, no, I, I genuinely believe it. I had fun. I also had fun. I know you I had, had fun. I had much more fun than you did, though. Yeah. What was the last thing we did in Final Fantasy X?